Thanks again. Cheers. Nightmare isn't the word. Cole stands enjoying every minute of it, isn't he? Yeah, I know we didn't. Look, darling, I'm sorry to do this to you. No, no, of course not. No, I don't expect you to rush back. It's just that I thought you should know, seeing as it's Janine. Oh, don't worry. I will. Yeah, go on, darling. Take care, bye. That was your father. Yeah, I know that. Why didn't you let me speak to him? What? And fill his head with your version of events, not lightly. Oh, right. So you got there first and dropped me in it? You dropped yourself in it. Like you always do. Only this time you cost us money. Not to mention the embarrassment. Dan's been grinning all day like a Cheshire cat. He's going around telling everyone how we can't run the pub. You've made us look stupid, Janine, and I really don't need it. You have said I'm sorry. Sorry? You don't know what the word means. But, Peggy, I... I've bent over backwards to make you feel at home here. And with Frank away, I gave you the benefit of the doubt. We trusted you. Big mistake. Because you don't even care. I do! And save the tears, please, Janine. It might work with your father, but it doesn't work with me. Oh, and by the way, there's a pile of washing up in the kitchen with your name on it. I don't want to see your face until it's finished. Understand? <coughs>